Every city has a story. Rochester, the young lion of the West. A city crying out to its nation for freedom. Gotta be set free. I believe that every city, every nation, all over the earth, receives identity and purpose from God. So I believe that Rochester, a lot of prayer with Finney and others have been sown into Rochester. When you look at a city like Rochester, you have to look at the history of what's gone on in a territory. Not only was it the only city that we have in history in America that was transformed by a sweeping spiritual move. In this city, it always had reformers. And that includes Charles Finney. It includes Susan B. Anthony. It includes Frederick Douglass. They were used of God, and they were doing good work in many ways in the world. I think without a doubt, uh, particularly for someone like Finney, who thought that if there was real revival, that it should have an impact on the culture. He preached very strongly, right after salvation, he preached very strongly the end of slavery. Finney would read the Word of God, and, and then he would look at the church, and he said, well, these, these don't match up, right? Same thing with Frederick Douglass. He read the Word of God and saw what God said, and then he would look and see that the way people are being treated is not consistent with what the Word of God says. Rochester was the place where he wanted to uh, publish his own newspaper, the North Star. And so the North Star was his uh, mouthpiece to really be able to hold the country accountable to live up to the ideals of freedom, liberty, equality, and justice for all. And so from the city, you see that God was gathering people. It had a DNA, it had an identity for people to be a voice that would change a whole nation. We are a people on a hill, a beacon for the lost. Your light is blazing to the world. Can it last? But when you take God out of the answer, and when you look at answers with man being at the center of it, see that one of the problems with humanism, it assumes that man has the answers for all things. It assumes man has some innate ability to resolve the problems that mankind creates. 